Okay, hi everyone, Daryl here. Uh, okay, this is lesson 57 in my YouTube playlist, Investing 101. Uh, today we're going to talk about this thing called common stock. Because I received an email from someone uh, asking me about different types of stock. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, uh, so commonly known as just shareholder. So if you're a shareholder, most probably you got uh, your holding stock, okay? Uh, some people call it shares as well. Uh, it's just a security that re represents part ownership of a company. So uh, if you have maybe if there are 100 shares that are issued, then you have maybe 20 shares or 20 stocks, right? Then you own 20% of the company. Okay, so there are many classes of stock. So uh, we'll touch on uh, preferred shares or preferred stock in the next lesson. But uh, the difference between common stock and preferred stock, right, is that uh, common stock, you have the power to vote on corporate matters and change the board of directors. So if you... If you have ever set up a Singapore company or any company uh, all across the world, right, you will understand that uh, there are shareholders, so there are owners of the company, right? Shareholders who can vote on matters. So you can do things like uh, you know, make changes to the board, like you can uh, remove a director or add a director in. Um, you can vote on director's remuneration. Uh, these are the things that common stockholders, uh, the powers that common stockholders have. Okay, so, uh, but you must understand, right, that common stockholders, they are last in line to be paid off in the event a company goes bankrupt. Uh, and if, let's say, the company goes bankrupt, right, then uh, you have to pay off the debtors, uh, the creditors. So the creditors, right, you got to pay off all the people that you owe money first. Then next, you got to own, uh, you got to pay off the bondholders. So uh, people who you issue, people or companies that you, the company issued out uh, bonds to, right, you really got to clear that first. Then uh, after that, you pay off the preferred shareholders. After that, then you pay off the common stockholders. So common stockholders, they have the power to uh, to make changes to the company, uh, make changes to the board. But then in terms of uh, being re uh, being paid off, right, when, you know, when the company files for uh, liquidation uh, or even in the event of uh, paying out dividends, right, I actually preferred shareholders will be paid off first. Okay, so that's all from this lesson and I'll see you in the next video.